The big difference between Claude and ChatGPT is this. I'm just going to get back to the question that got asked about using AI. What AI tools can we use? Okay, yes. so I've showcased Notebook LM, which I genuinely think is absolutely fantastic. But let's just talk about other stuff that's out there because I think some of the time you want to use more than one tool to get to where you're going. So can I just take a few seconds to talk you through different tools that I use in different contexts? I use Claude. So, you know, there's all these like language models, there's ChatGPT, there's Claude, et cetera, et cetera. Claude is great for code and generating code. Uh, you can ask it, you can just, you can, you can just drop in a data set and ask it to generate code to do some data viz for you. It'll do it. It's most of the time produces code that's absolutely perfect. Some of the time you need to tweak it a little bit. If there's an error, you can cut and paste the error back into Claude and it'll try and solve it for you. So I think, you know, so I can't speak. ChatGPT is great as well. The advantage of ChatGPT is you can ask it to pull up a canvas and then you can kind of tweak the code in the canvas and ask it to make updates and then cut and paste the code into R Studios. The big difference between Claude and ChatGPT is this. Claude, even with the paid version, and I have the paid version, you run out of tokens. So you, if you're doing a big project, you could halfway through the day get to a point where it sort of says, okay, you've used up your tokens for the day, you've got to wait for tomorrow before you can carry on. That drives me absolutely bonkers. <laughs> That never, that's never happened to me with ChatGPT. <laughs> never. Okay, so, so Claude, I think, is better, but it definitely puts a seeding on how much you can do in a particular day. So if you're doing something short and punchy, use Claude. If it's a big project, I, then maybe use ChatGPT for coding 